After exploring Little Falls, we continued on our journey down the Erie Canal, passing through Lock 17, the largest lock in the Erie Canal system. Lock 17 takes the place of five older locks and takes vessels down 40.5 feet. The canal was very calm, but there was always the danger of driftwood and hidden branches that have the potential to do serious damage to our boat. Our next stop was the village of Kanajahari, whose city docks had free power and water. We had dinner at a local diner, and then Diana found a cat in an antique store. A friendly neighbourhood person gave us some guidance on what to see and do. The lights are really cool, but as pedestrians we're not sure how we're meant to cross. I think we'll just make a run for it. The word Kanajahari means the pot that washes itself, and it was named after this feature in the Kanajahari Gorge. Uh, we're exploring the. What's the gorge? Kanajahari Gorge. This is the baby one, and that one actually has seats like it's a hot tub. That is perfect for swimming in. It's got a whole bench thing going on. How do you turn the bubbles on? We found some ruins. <laughs> Diana thinks they're from Star Trek. <laughs> Annie, we got a little lost, didn't we? <laughs> we're not lost, we're just right there. We know where the gorge is and we know where we are, but we don't know how to get back up to there. But this looks good, this looks promising. There's a siren. We don't know what it means. We're hoping this, the city isn't melting down. Oh, it stopped. Whew. I think we're safe. We're getting chased by motor yachts. I'm trying to make it to the lock before they pass us. Lock 13, this is pass away, he's down over. Good. Yeah. The next place we stopped was Amsterdam, which featured a lovely pedestrian bridge and beautiful bike paths along the canal. One of the bike paths took us along the original Erie Canal which was 18 feet wide and 4 feet deep, meaning that Katsaway could have still sailed through her. Since navigating the original locks took time, there were often small stores that offered grocery and bar services. This is a double lock to facilitate more traffic. Poor thing. I think he has a tick. Oh yeah? Do you want to see? I mean, I think the tick is stuck on him. You see behind his ear? Oh yeah. Is that what that looks like? Do we need another kitty? <laughs> no, this is someone's kitty. No, he's a stray. We can keep him and love him. Oh, he does have a tick. Is that it? Yeah. We need to get some owners to take that off for you, buddy. I can't help you here. I don't have any tweezers. Uh, I think it's a boy. He looks like he has a boy face. Yeah. He's hecky on a diet. Uh, I think he's so the original Erie Canal had aqueducts to allow canal boats to traverse rivers. We're enjoying a sunset over the ruins of... The Skohari Crossing Aqueduct. We rode here as a parent by my helmet here. <laughs> They're all filled in now, but it's fun to imagine the boats coming down these old canals. We're at Land's Kitchen. <laughs> it's mid-autumn festival and 
We forgot, but we're trying to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> this part of the canal was lined with lots of old derelict factories. And while it was getting colder, the Canadian geese hadn't abandoned us yet. That night we stayed in the village of Scotia, which has the best Wi-Fi on the Erie Canal. Once we were settled, we grabbed our bikes and explored. I'm so very smart in all my lessons. Reading, writing and geography. But when it comes to spelling, I am confessing. There's just one word that stumps me constantly. I can spell Dakota, can handle Minnesota, but I can't spell Schenectady. We are in sunny Schenectady. 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 Apparently it's a really hard word to spell. And say. We're going to find a coffee shop. Has a coffee in it. It's good. The, uh, the happy cappuccino they're making good coffee. There's a sign right behind you. We stumbled across this old part of town with these 250 year old houses. It's so awesome, these all look like original houses. There's a new one over there that's only 150 years old. It gives you a good idea of what this area looked like and still looks like. I've spelled Anaconda and even Tonawanda. So what do you expect of me? And no, sir, I can't spell Schenectady. <laughs> Just doing that morning inspection. We've discovered some things having the cats on the boat. Number one, ropes look like snakes. Number two, bridges are giant overhead predators. What did you just invent? <laughs> well, it started raining. We haven't figured out how to cover these yet, so we just stuck an umbrella in there. <laughs> Luckily, there's no wind today. The trees decided to all change color overnight. With the downfall, Diana took the opportunity to scrub the decks. Our good friend the Grand Erie again. We're at the first of the guard gates, guard gate two. We waited for the guard gate to open and then went through the Waterford flight of five. We just had dinner with two really wonderful people that came, uh, introduced us to... Dinosaur barbecue. Yes, which was amazing. Um, it just made us feel really welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really lovely. We really mm -hmm. appreciate, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, just wonderful people to talk to. Um, there was an issue with the drive leg that I'd been temporarily fixing with a hammer. But another boat came over and there offered a hand. Okay, so I, I actually don't know your name, but you Dan. already fixed my boat. <laughs> Dan. Dan, I appreciate it. Kenny, what do you think? The next day, we explored the Waterford Historic Museum. 
there was a special exhibit on the Erie Canal in honor of the 200th anniversary. Diana's making new friends. Cats find me everywhere. We picked up some beers for our boat fixing friend Dan and some LED bulbs for our mast. And then we hung out with some acro friends. We're on the Lois McClure. The Lois McClure was a replica of an original barge canal boat. As expanded as it is on the barge canal. Yeah. So, it washed up on deck, yeah. and she would do a wash up there. Maybe once a week, the tub would come down here, and everybody get. We took advantage of the open day they were hosting, which was three boats up from us. Wow! How cool! Yeah. Most big boats, you know, it's just a wheel attached to a tiller, like you said. But most of the time, the mechanism is just like buried down below. But on this boat, we just have it exposed right here. Yeah. I missed it. One more time. Okay. Anyway, where are we? We're at Don and Paul's Diner, where you can get two eggs and toast for two two dollars. Let's go. This navigation light wasn't working, which isn't normally an issue because we have one on our mast, but we currently have our mast unstepped, so we don't have any navigation lights. We will be heading into the Hudson and maybe forced to do some night travel so I've been trying to fix this all day then I found this little severed cable and I think I know the problem We made it all the way through the canal. And our Oswego friends got us a bottle of wine that says third time to charm for our 33 visits to Oswego. And we think it's time to crack it open. Many of us at Waterford were waiting out Tropical Storm Nate, and we decided to make the most of it by having Canadian Thanksgiving which also included a pavlova thanks to an Australian couple doing the loop. We have just left, left the Erie Canal, which is the point where it reaches the Hudson River. We're on the Hudson River en route to Catskill today. We have one final lock called the Federal Lock, which will pass through in about half an hour. We really enjoyed our time on the Erie Canal. If you have any questions, please comment below. And check out our live map to see where we currently are. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.